Hey, welcome back to Monkey Business. This is Nick, AKA Dad. I'm Addy, AKA The Monkey. Hey, and today we are out on a Bronco Jeep crawl. Um, we've never actually been on one before, but our friends, uh, Greg and Cheryl, um, are co-hosts of it. And uh, we do a lot of stuff with them with Broncos and decide we come out to see what it looks like. Um, have already made a part of the journey um, to a brewery here in just outside of Metamora, Illinois. So um, pretty windy today. That's why we're kind of yeah. standing between the Broncos and hopefully we're coming through on our mics just because, yeah, it is a, it's really it's a windy. pretty windy day. But thought we'd walk around and show you what we're, what we're seeing here. Some people are dressed up today. Some people have dressed up their vehicles for Halloween. So Let's take a take a look and we'll walk you around and take you on this journey that we're going to be going on uh, to East Peoria yeah. to a place we've been to before, yeah. um, Charlie's on Sunset Grove in East Peoria, or just outside of East Peoria, where we uh, had the Bronco Roundup, which if you've seen our videos before, uh, kind of showed you a little bit about what was going on that day. So yeah, we'll take you on the journey as we go from place to place yeah. and uh, show you around. So let's get started. Well, we've got a, like I said, it's a Jeep Bronco crawl. We've got a few here. Uh, we've got a Rubicon here, which actually is sporting uh, the same winch that we'll be showing a video on here soon on putting on our Bronco. Another Jeep that's got uh, got an aftermarket hood on it. Oh, it's a oh, it's a DV8 hood. Okay, that's cool. Definitely has some bigger wheels and tires running a mud terrain, but probably looking at this, yeah, it's a 35 by 12 and a half by 22. So pretty cool there. Some friends of ours with their uh, Bronco out there, two door. That one I believe is a big bend, but in the area 51, but they've kept it pretty stock. And if I remember, I think theirs is a manual transmission. Then we've got ours sitting there, but haven't gotten through everything yet that we want to put on it, but we're working on it. Yeah, there's ours. Another Jeep who's uh, kind of dressed for the occasion has some like lizard eye covers on their uh, cool. on their uh, pillar lights there, but again, sporting a little bit bigger with a 20 inch wheel on theirs. And then they've got the little the little skull or skeleton ducks on here. That's pretty cool. Oh, but yeah, some people have dressed up for uh, for the occasion, haven't they, Monk? And then some oh, yeah. um, some haven't. Yeah. You got a pretty stock Jeep here. Yeah. Is that a TJ maybe? I don't remember when they had the square lights, but yeah. Pretty cool. Another one over there with some rough country accessories on it. Ah, bright orange. Sahara edition. That's pretty cool. I mean, I like the color. It kind of reminds me of some of what... Ford's done with their colors and their row of ducks there. And then we got another Jeep here with the angry eyes. I always, I always love it that people put these angry eye type things on their on their Jeeps. But you, now you're starting to see it on some Broncos. Got a couple Jasons sitting in there. Pretty neat. Another Jeep Wrangler Unlimited with the four doors. Oh, this is a cool color on this Rubicon here. Love the hoods on these. Kind of reminds me a little bit of the Raptors. Um, but yeah, wish wish they would have come up with something like that for the Broncos as well, besides having to do a Bronco Raptor. But yeah, another another cool color, isn't it, Monk? Yeah. I think it kind of looks like um, if you mixed like Area 51 and Cactus Gray together, mm -hmm. it's that. Oh, yeah. Oh, definitely. Yeah, I can see that. Another Rubicon and kind of a slate gray. Ah, oh, this is a cool island thing. <laughs> Got some cool graphics on the side here. And then again, <laughs> have some cute little baby skulls with <laughs> some chains. Ah, the pirate ship. Pulled in their sails because it's pretty windy out. Looks like it's running beadlocks too on some mud terrains here. That's pretty. That's pretty wicked. Yeah, running those on uh, on their Jeep today. Got the limb risers on there, and then uh, this guy's along for the ride. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Seen this guy around before at some of the uh, Friday Night Lights events. 
with their Joker Batman themed. Then got the angry eyes. Angry eyes. This one's one of Monk's favorites. Got the spider on the front. And, yeah, dragon with a skeleton. That's pretty cool. A few people out today, don't we? Yeah, this is a snark. Pretty fun. Another, we've seen him out and about. That's uh, one with the biohazard. And I believe he's got a couple of 15 inch subs in the back. A couple other, we got a, a couple of Saharas out here. Oh, this one's fun too. Gotta love the. Skeletons climbing all over the back. That's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Whether it's a spider or little skeletons, pretty neat. Yeah. We've even got more yet, though, Monk, over here. Yeah. Oh, and the wind is really picking up now. Yeah. Well, let's go across the field here and let's take a look at what else we've got over here. Hopefully, our sound is coming through pretty well. Yeah, in the Midwest. It's we don't, windy. We don't have a lot of uh, things to stop the wind, do we, Mo? We really don't. <laughs> so we're kind of just like holding up our mics so that hopefully you can hear. Yeah. And it's a Rubicon. It's, again, I love that hood. That is a really cool hood. It is. I like that blue. Not, not, they didn't dress it up today. Uh, we do have a, another Wrangler here, but <laughs> got their thumbs up going on here with their uh, skeleton arm. That's fun. It's pretty cool. Black Pearl, there we go. Yeah, that is cool. Look at that. You got the bat on the front. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the little dragons. I love that. Got the dragons. I like dragons. Ah, Jeep Girl Mafia. This one definitely is pretty cool just because it's got, uh, it's got the teal on there with the waves, so somebody that's enjoying the beach. Yeah. Seen this guy around. Yeah. Oh, Metal Cloak. Um, Definitely have seen their stuff. Good quality stuff by what I've seen. Haven't really played it with any of the stuff that they have, but never know down the road. Another angry eye Wrangler. Yeah. I think that's almost the same one that was on the other one. It's pretty close, yeah. yeah. If it's not the same, yeah, it's definitely pretty close. Yeah. And we've got some Broncos. Oh, yeah. Got a few more here. Eruption Green Base Squatch, which... <laughs> is a rarity now since they are no longer available um the base model just period here's another looks like yeah another sasquatch from the factory um i love the bronco script we've got on ours but was a sasquatch package might be a big bend it looks like by the grill got a big bend here and that's another color that i wish ford had, had more of that's a, that a hot pepper red you like the hot pepper red? Yeah, I think it's good. Yeah. I like the We've had, I like the colors that only came in the Broncos for the most part. That's true. That's true. <laughs> Those were always fun. Yeah. And that's an Outer Banks, but they put a Bronco Raptor bumper on it. Uh huh. That's pretty cool, huh? That is really cool. Another Outer Banks, similar to what Walt is, but that one is a standard Outer Banks with the painted fenders, yeah. fender flares. Cyber Orange. Oh, yeah. This one looks like it probably started as an Outer Banks with the gloss black grill and the side steps. Love the hockey strike too. That's really cool. Kind of a nod, nod to some of the Mustangs and that back in the day. Our friend Greg and Cheryl's Bronco. This is Cheryl's. Yeah. It's a Badlands in race red. That's a really, really nice Bronco. That's they've done some additions to it. And a good friend of ours, James, is two-door Big Bend, sitting on 35s. Again, a lot of cool stuff out here. Yeah. Well, that's kind of where we're at right now with this first stop, but uh, yeah. we'll take you along for the ride as we're uh, headed out of here pretty soon to go to our next stop yeah. and uh, take you for a ride on uh, in the Bronco to, I believe we're going to Deer Creek, Illinois next. Yeah. Oh. Wind's picking up, so hopefully you can hear us. But yeah, heading to Deer Creek, Illinois next, and uh, yeah, we'll keep going.
Deer Creek um, and mm. uh, and the I think it was called A and M um, Bar. Yeah and grill, I think. Um, <laughs> great food there, had a lot of fun. We hung out for about 30 minutes with uh, everybody that was in the crawl. Yeah. And then we headed down a side road, because I'd grown up in that area. And uh, there's a side road there and they have a tunnel that goes underneath the interstate yes. um, that sometimes fills up with water and um, gets, a, gets a little muddy, a little watery down there and uh, decided to take a, anybody that wanted to go down that direction. So we went down there and yeah. want you to check out what happened. We had a lot of fun we did. going through the tunnel. We had a lot of fun going through the mud. And uh, as you can see behind me here, we are still pretty dirty. We had a lot of fun. A lot of, lot of mud water went all the way up over the roof. I mean, we sent it, okay? We, yeah, we didn't we did. play around, did we, Monk? We did not. We got we the Bronco it. filthy, which... Yes. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I mean, I might have been the only one that really, really went for it. <laughs> yeah. Um, as you saw in the video, we <laughs> we had all over the windshield, but oh, yeah. had a great time. And uh, and then we headed to Charlie's at Sunset Cove, and uh, again had a great time. So yeah. let's wrap this up for you. Well, uh, yeah, we we had a lot of fun on the Jeep Bronco crawl, as it was called yesterday. Um, and we kind of ran out of time getting footage done, so thought we'd finish up today. Um, but yeah, ended up at Charlie's at Sunset Cove in East Peoria, um, which is where we had our Bronco Roundup uh, probably about probably about a month ago or so. Yeah. Um, another great turnout, but had a lot of fun. Um, hopefully you liked the, the footage we took. But we really appreciate you guys following us. Um, and hopefully we'll have some more events like this. I know we've got another one coming up in November. Yeah. And then also I'll be at SEMA yes, next we week. So if there's things you'd like uh, to find out more about, you know, if there's certain uh, companies you want me to try to stop by and talk to, please put a comment down below. Down there. Yep. And don't forget, we also have our website. Mm -hmm. um, it's www monkeybusinessoffroad.com monkeybusinessoffroad.com yeah monk's a little bit uh sore throat mm. today we've picked yeah. up a bug it sounds like <laughs> but yeah thanks for watching and uh continue to share subscribe and like to our videos and channel and have a blessed day bye